What's up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. So today we're going to do something pretty quick and easy. What we're going to be doing is upgrading my current subwoofer setup in my 2016 Ram 2500 lifted truck over here. We're going to be upgrading it from 10 inch woofers to 12 inch woofers. So without further ado, let's jump in. I'll show you what I currently have under the seat and then we'll get into what we're going to be replacing them with. Let's get this started. Okay, so let's hop in the back here. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the setup I have right now. I got this setup from Crutchfield. This is the MTX Thunderform box with two MTX audio 10 inch woofers. There's one here and one over there. And then I just have this foam pad here because it has a cutout here where I keep my amplifier. This is a Memphis audio mono amplifier. So it just has one channel. And I'll put the specs up here. But for what these woofers are, when I'm running them into one channel, this amp supplies these woofers perfectly fine. Now the bass response on this Thunderform box with the 10 inch speakers is pretty good. But I'll be honest, it's only good inside the vehicle. You really don't hear any of the bass outside the vehicle. But when you're inside the vehicle, it does sound pretty good. And I'm gonna be replacing it with a new setup. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at what we're gonna be replacing this with. Okay, so here we go. So it just came in the mail. We got the Scar Audio 12 inch dual woofer box that's designed to fit under the back seat of a Ram 2500 crew cab. So we'll get into that here in a minute. The speakers that I went with are the Scar Audio VD-12. These speakers are specifically designed to work with shallow mounted woofer boxes. These are a dual coil two ohm setup. So you're gonna have two coils that both are running at two ohms. So I have two of those. So what we're gonna end up doing, we're gonna get the woofer box out. We're gonna start wiring up and installing the Scar Audio VD12 12 inch woofers into the box. Once I get that wired up, we're gonna go ahead and get it in the truck. But the first thing I'm gonna do is get the old speaker set up out of the truck and I'm gonna do a test fit of the new box because sometimes these boxes like this, the wood boxes with the carpet on them, are a little thicker and sometimes they require you to put spacers under your back seat or the bottom of your seat might sit down on the box a little bit. So if that's the case, option one is we need to put spacers under the back seat brackets to lift the seat up a little bit. Option two, which is what I'm going to try, is if I need a little bit more space, I might try cutting the carpet out from inside the wells over here where the speakers go down in. If I could cut some of that carpet out of there, that should give me a little extra depth for the box to sit down deeper into that well. So let me go ahead and work on getting this setup taken out, and then let me start getting this stuff out of the box, and then we'll get everything hooked up and wired up here in a minute. Okay, so we're back. Well, I did go ahead and try cutting the carpet underneath. Let me see if I can get this out and show you, okay? So I did go and cut the whole bottom piece out, took it out. The whole bottom piece here is sort of like a moisture barrier, harder piece. So again, I did take that out. I put the speaker box in and my seat was still too low to clear covering this speaker box. So the whole idea of just cutting out the carpet to make this work did not work. So what I did was I just put spacers. I can't quite get the camera under there, but I put spacers under the bracket. And all I did was I went to my bags of excess junk that I have laying around and I found I had a whole bag full of these lug nuts. I think these might have been from an old ATV I had, but if we just take a measuring tape, let me just try to line it up here at the four so the numbers are bigger and easier to see. If we line it up at the four, you're about three quarters of an inch, okay? So all I did was I took some old washers like this, and because this was a concave at the front like that, I just put it into a washer like that and put a washer on top. So basically that's what I used as my spacer, was just old stuff laying around. I didn't have to go out and buy any. But I'd probably say three quarters of an inch to an inch max is all you need in terms of a spacer. And now, put the box back down into the well. Okay, let me go ahead and there you go. So again, the seat fits right over top of the top of this box here. So again, I can stick my hand up here. So obviously you can see it's not pinching it. There's plenty of room that covers that. And then the speaker area is recessed down about an inch below this top lip. So when you put your speaker in, 
your seat is not gonna be smashing the top of your speaker. So, so far, so good. Now that we got that issue figured out, the box fits, the seat covers it, we should be good to go. Now I just need to get a little extra speaker wire to jump the two voice coils over to one, and then this will hook up here, and then we'll probably just run it in parallel or series, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see what's the best way to maximize this. But we're gonna get these 12 inch woofers hooked up in here, but as you can see, it's looking pretty awesome, and I think these larger 12 inch woofers are gonna give me a lot louder and deeper bass, which is probably what I'm looking for compared to the 10 inch woofers over here. Now these are no slouch. These actually sound really good. They put a lot of bass response into the interior of the vehicle, but it's just not as loud for me. I want deeper, louder bass and the 10 inch woofers do a decent job. They just don't quite give me the level of bass that I'm looking for. So that's why I'll be upgrading from the 10 inch woofers to the SCAR Audio 12 inch woofers. So let me keep working on getting this all put together and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that we got the box back out of the truck and put on the table here, I just wanted to go over it real quick. The actual quality of this box seems really good. All the seaming of the carpet looks really good. The terminals on the back are the push terminals, which I like, okay, because they're like spring-loaded push terminals. You don't have to use, you know, screwdrivers or anything like that. Flip it over to the top. That's what they look like from the top. So again, I'm not gonna sit there and unstaple and unglue any of the padding here, but overall, the build quality does seem pretty good. It does have a lead wire that comes out of the terminals already, so that's good. I do like that it has this recessed area here for your speaker, and we'll get a speaker out here shortly and set it into place just to show you what that looks like. Again, nice branding on the front, looks pretty cool. Some nice cool cutouts, same thing on the other side. So again, the quality of the box, the quality of the carpeting, everything looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and get a speaker unboxed here. Move this out of the way. And let's get a speaker unloaded here. Okay, now these again are the SCAR Audio VD12s. They come with some SCAR Audio decals, some user manual information package nice and good so it's nice and protective here is your speaker get that out of the way okay okay so this is what they look like this is the scar audio 12 inch speaker i mean it looks like it has a pretty nice little amount of travel here Quality looks good. Nice metal back design. Nice big magnet. Again, dual voice coils here. Again, this is a shallow mount too. So if I get out a measuring tape, if you kind of look, kind of doing this upside down, I'm trying to guess the front of this foam lip here, you're probably a little over six inches, give or take. Hopefully you can see that. All right. So that's one speaker. Let's go ahead, get the box back up here. Let's sit a speaker in and see how it lines up. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so there we go. That is what the speaker looks like, recessed down into the SCAR audio box. Again, the top of this foam is right at the top. But overall, I really like how it looks. So let me get working on getting this wired up and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I just had to run to the store real quick and I grabbed 50 foot of 12 gauge wire. Every store around me locally did not have 12 gauge speaker wire. And because I needed it in a pinch, I just stopped at my local hardware store. Now I just went with all red because I don't need to buy another spool of black just so it could be black and red. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wiring this up. So what I'm gonna do based on SCAR Audio's website, and I'll put a diagram right up here so you can verify, it's called a series parallel. So what we're gonna do is run a jumper wire from the positive from one coil to the negative to the opposite coil. Then we're gonna go ahead and run the positive and negative coming from our terminal to the negative and positive over there. And then that way we could just go ahead and plug it in from the back and be good. That should keep this whole setup at roughly two ohms and should give me maximum power on my amp without overloading it. So let me keep working on this and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got one speaker hooked up and mounted to the box. I got the next speaker wired up. So I just, again, I have a 12 gauge jumper from the positive to the negative. 
and then I have my terminal wires coming up to the positive and negative. Just make sure you remember which wire is going to your positive and which one's your negative. So let me go ahead and get this speaker mounted to the actual box. And one thing I will mention, these SCAR Audio speakers have a nice thick lip and so does this lip here. So when I drilled in my screws, the screws were hitting into the entire box. So I've had universal boxes in the past where the speakers didn't quite line up with the box and the screws didn't always work out, but this is working great. So, so far I'm really happy. And real quick, I just wanna make a quick note. When you are screwing in your screws, I'm just using basic construction screws like this, all right? Nothing, nothing major, but when you're screwing them in, whether you're using a screwdriver or a screw gun like I'm using, you wanna make sure that you're putting some type of protectant barrier over the speaker, just like that. That way, just in case your screwdriver or your drill slips off the screw, you're not gonna poke a hole in your speaker. So again, I've learned that over the many years of doing this, that you should always protect the speaker when you're screwing it down, just because accidents do happen. So let me get moving forward and we'll be right back. Okay, so we got everything hooked up. Everything's looking real good. Got the box put in, got the amp back under here. Again, I still haven't finalized all of my tuning of my amp. Again, everything right now is just tuned off of my ear, but I'm probably gonna have to take this to an audio shop and have them kind of custom tune everything just to get everything maxed out to its peak performance. Because again, all I could do is adjust it to my ear and where my ear hears distortion. So I'm not gonna be perfect at that. So again, so far it looks pretty good. Let's just put on some music. Here we go. I don't, obviously you're not gonna be able to hear what I'm hearing because my camera is not gonna pick up the actual bass, but you can see right here. I mean, I can hear it kind of rattling over here a little bit. It does sound better than those 10 inch woofers I had before. I think again, with a little bit of tuning or possibly a stronger amp, but that's to come. Again, right now I'm just trying to keep things very basic, but that's what it is right there. But overall, it does sound pretty good. And if you see right here, I can drop my seat. My seat still shuts, plenty of room. So, so far, I'm actually liking this SCAR audio setup with the box and the 12 inch woofers. Again, all I had to do was add some spacers right there, about three quarters of an inch to get my seat up. And now my seat can clear the box and everything's good to go. So my overall impressions of the SCAR Audio box for a Ram 2500 crew cab with the SCAR Audio 12s, I definitely give it a thumbs up and give it a go. They sound pretty good. I think I might just have to maybe tweak the amp or possibly upgrade my amp to something a little bit more powerful because that amp was meant for the 10 inch woofers. It might not have enough power to really push these 12s. But what I have hooked up so far is already sounding better than the 10 inch woofers I have before. So I think if I do a small amp amp upgrade i should really get these speakers sounding good okay everybody we're finally done again everything sounds pretty awesome now these do sound better than the mtx 10 inch subwoofers that i had before however the amp that i currently have was set up for those 10 inch woofers and even with the smaller amp that i'm running right now they still sound better than the 10 inch subs so what I'm thinking is if I upgrade my amp to a more powerful amp, I should really get these speakers sounding even better. And then once I do that, I'll get everything tuned by a local audio store and we should be good to go. But so far, my initial impressions, I definitely give them a thumbs up and give them a go. They sound pretty awesome and they're not very expensive. So again, just remember, if you are gonna run this box in your Ram 2500 crew cab, you are gonna have to put some type of three quarter inch to one inch spacers under the seat to get it up a little bit higher to clear the box. But overall, I just used old lug nuts that I had from an ATV and it worked out perfectly and they were about three quarters of an inch. So there you go. I hope this video helps some of you out. Go ahead and do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and like this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. I truly appreciate you all. And as always... See you in the next video.